Welcome back. My name's Raven. If you're new here, I'm a Pilates instructor in Dallas, Texas. And welcome to your beginner series. Today is your beginner fundamentals core workout. So this whole beginner series is going to break Pilates down. If you've got any injuries, someone who needs to modify a lot, maybe you're brand spanking new to Pilates, maybe you just really wanna work on the fundamentals, this is the series for you. So today you don't need anything but your mat and your brain and we're going to get into our cores. So here we go. articulate your spine look up to the ceiling and go again curl under scoop your belly let your head hang and then hips go back chest goes up now let's start to flow right there add some breathing to it curl and stretch keep going today we're going to work your core in some different ways than you're probably used to, right? Your core in Pilates is three-dimensional. So it's not just your abs, your stomach. It's your sides, it's your back, it's your posture muscles. One more time. So you might see some new exercises today. Last time, round your spine, pull your rib cage together as you pull your stomach up to the ceiling and lower down. Alrighty, so we're going to come to seated for half roll back. Knees bend, feet flat. Hands sturdily behind your thighs. Use them to sit up tall. Drawing your belly in from your pubic bone. Again, lower back rounds. We slowly start to roll backwards. It's the same round shape you just had in your cat cow. Hold it. And then use your arms to roll yourself back up and lift. And let's go again. Curl the pelvis under, draw your belly in. Think about scooping like an ice cream scooper. It's your range of motion always in Pilates. It's your body, you don't have to create a shape that looks like anyone else's. Find your breathing, start to flow. Actively push your feet down, and if you can't, flex your toes up like mine to kind of remind yourself to dig those feet down and lift, keep it going. Scoop from here like you're being punched in the tummy. Round and roll. Scoop and lift. How are you breathing? Three more. Every time you should feel your abdominals draw deeper together. Roll back up. Two more. Deep in the belly, hollow out, scoop, 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 and lift. Whew. Last one here, abs in and up, curl under, slowly start to roll back, 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 back. Now hold this one, keep your hands there, but can you round your pelvis under even more? Now without shifting, right arm out, right arm in, alternate, reach. Seems easy at first, but you don't want your spine moving around at all. Now let's do both arms. Both arms reach, both arms pull. Both arms reach. When your arms go out, can you scoop your abs deeper? Squeeze your inner thighs together. For two, whew, I'm feeling it. Hold it on one, hold everybody. Squeeze your legs, scoop your core. It's like you're getting punched in the gut, hold it. Open your right arm, close. Other side, open. Don't let your spine change. Don't let your hips change. Woo, I'm feeling it. Keep scooping your abs back deeper. Keep hollowing out. And out, and out, and open. And close, four more here, 
four, three, ooh, baby. Keep howling out, and two. Now hold both arms forward, take a little breather, take your hands behind your legs, maybe sit up tall if you need one. We're gonna advance just one last time. Round back where you came from. Both arms out. Can you give me a little twist to one side? And other side, just from your rib cage. And twist. Imagine your lower body is stuck to the mat. Imagine you're wringing out a wet paper towel. Keep scooping your belly in deeper. Four more here. Four. Make it as small as you need to. One more set. Hold it in the center. Grab your thighs. Now slowly start Ooh, to lay down. I definitely was feeling my lower belly there. <laughs> Okie dokie. So now let's start with a nice neutral spine. I want you to place your hands on your belly button here. So this is a great exercise to find your core. I want you to think about scooping your belly into the mat and flattening out your back against the mat as much as you can. This is called imprint in Pilates. You're imprinting your spine. <sighs> and then back to neutral, where you feel a little bit of space underneath your back. Try that a few more times. Curl, scoop your belly. Pull your abdominals into the mat. And relax to neutral. Two more times here. Imprint is gonna be the safest place for your spine to live if you're a beginner. Right, because we're really bracing our core against the mat. One more time. Imagine you could knit your rib cage closed like you were wearing a really, really tight corset. Your ribs are going like this. Now keep your imprinted spine on the mat. Your arms go down by your sides. You're gonna bring one leg to tabletop and then the other. Let's flex our feet. We tap one heel down, switch. Notice the backs of my shoulders, my arms, my shoulder blades are actively pushing into the mat. Lower, lift, we're breathing up. I'm trying not to move my spine or my pelvis. Inhaling, exhaling, doesn't matter how low you go. I'd rather you always start off small. Do you feel any parts of your spine that aren't in contact with the mat? How can you draw your abdominals in deeper to get them there? Four, whew. three, these are called toe taps or heel taps. I'm definitely feeling my belly turn on. Now we're gonna keep it small, both legs. Down a few inches up. Down a few inches up. I'm definitely feeling the shaky shaky. I'm racing my stomach down into the mat. I'm keeping my back as still as I possibly can. Keep your range of motion small if you need to. A few more times. How are you breathing? Three more. Ooh, I'm getting shaky, shaky. <laughs> Last one. Lower your feet all the way to the mat. Ooh, you should definitely be feeling it there. Now we're gonna stack our hands back behind our head. Again, trying to imprint your spine down on the mat, but this time we add some flexion of the upper back. So it kind of looks like a crunch, right? Except I'm drawing everything down. I'm scooping my belly, trying to peel my shoulder blades off and lower down. Keep those going. Ooh. I don't know if you can see how shaky I am. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm literally shaking like a leaf. But that's just a testament, right? Even going back to basics is important for everyone, no matter what your fitness level is. This is a 
great, great workout. Maybe if you're postpartum, you've been cleared to work out, right? It's important, how are you working your core? It's really important for women in general to be working their cores, right? There's so much stuff that happens in there. <laughs> we want these slow and controlled. Drawing my belly in, I get so shaky. Three more. Always keeping space between your chin and your chest. Two more. We're breathing. Last one here. Curl up and hold. Now go down an inch up. If your neck starts to bother you, make sure you're really letting your head hang heavy in your arms. Start to find some breathing. Remember, these are tiny. Eight more. Don't forget about that tight corset here. Three more times. Last one, hold it. Now can you maintain this? Can both legs come to tabletop? Hold. Can you curl just an inch or two higher? Hold it here for five, for four. Curl an inch or two higher, I'm feeling it. Three, two, one, bring it in. Okay, give yourself a little stretch there. Whew. All right, enough with flexion. Let's start with some hip extension. So my arms are down, my feet are planted underneath my knees. I take a bridge position. Squeeze your seat, extend your hips, and lower straight down. Keep going with those. So at first, these are gonna feel like a lower body exercise, which is okay. But how can you create a full body exercise by pushing your arms down, by pulling your belly in real tight, squeezing your seat, stretching your hips. Give me a few more of those. Again, feeling that knitted waist. Anytime you're in Pilates, you're using your core to stabilize, always. Now hold this next one up. Keep your hips lifted. I want you to imagine there's two strings pulling your hips up to the ceiling. Can you snip your right string, let that hip dip down, squeeze it up, other side. Just your left hip, squeeze it up. And then right, keep pushing your arms down. And left, keep these small. Even though it's one side of your body moving, they're both working to stabilize. I'm feeling my abdominals work real hard. My arms, my glutes. For three. Ooh, no wiggle wobbles. Two. One more set here. Hips up and lower down. Ooh. Now bring your legs and feet together, my favorites. Everything goes back up. Alrighty, really squeeze your inner thighs, pull your core tight. Can you lift one leg tabletop? Place it down, other side. Up and down. Move slowly here. This is a core exercise because I want you to pull your leg up from your stomach and lower belly. You're gonna feel your legs work too and that is a-okay. Breathing in and down. And in, and down. Keep pulling your rib cage together. Keep pushing your arms down. How are you breathing? Shh, shh, shh. Keep it up. Eight, six. Keep those hips lifted. All of this is staying still. One more. Feet down, hips up, squeeze your butt. Roll everything down, pull your knees into your chest. Whew. Now again, I'm gonna have you roll over onto your side. You're gonna stack your hands back behind your head. I want you to think about your upper body and your lower body creating a long, beautiful line. Now I'm gonna externally rotate my legs, heels are together, toes are apart, and I try to lift both legs off the mat. Ooh, lower down, 
If you need extra support, top hand comes in front of you. We lift. Beautiful. Keep going there. Now this, even though we're moving our lower body, it's truly a deep core exercise, especially if you're not using your hands on the mat. Zip your belly and create a little mouse house of space underneath your bottom side. Pull these abs in. This is part of our side leg series. Stretch your legs out long. If you need to modify, lower your head, neck, and shoulders, or even bend your knees. Two more here. Up, down. One more, hold it up. Good, do you have a little space under here? Are you creating a straight line? Can your legs go just an inch higher? Now lower, open, close, open, close, open, close. Ooh, you should feel your whole body work. Can you really use your stomach to close the legs? I'm feeling the work here, here, and in my inner thighs. As women, it's really important to strengthen our inner thighs too. Those really connect deep, deep into our pelvic floors, into our abdominals. That's why I love Pilates. It's never just working your abs, right? It's deeper than that. Now let's pick up our tempo, in, in, in. Keep everything still. Stretch through your legs, point your toes, pull your belly in, squeeze. Squeeze. Five, three, two. I'm feeling my obliques work. Last one, and hold it. And lower it down. Now I want you to push yourself up to a crisscross applesauce position and give yourself a little mermaid to one side, stretch your spine. Maybe look up towards your top arm. Look down towards your bottom arm. And come on up other side. Oh, look up towards your top arm. Try to make sure both hip bones are down on the back, on the mat. Look down to your bottom arm. And other side. Remember, extend your body out nice and long. Pilates stance here, heels together, toes apart. Head can be here, we lift, lower. Lift, lower. Extending from your toes through your entire body. Zip the belly, zip the ribs. Pull the belly button to spine. And up. Keep drawing these in and up. Keep stretching long through the crown of your head. My bottom side is working super duper hard. Keep it going. Imagine someone's pulling your toes. You're getting super duper long. That's another reason I live Pilates, baby. We're getting long and strong. And up. Keep breathe and lift. Stretch through your toes, sip your belly. Four, three more here. Three, two, Ooh. last one. Hold it up, my legs are lifted. Now I lower lift, open, close. Trying to keep everything stable from my abdominals. How can you focus more on your belly doing the work? We're working that waist, baby. Squeeze your inner thighs together like you need it. Now let's go quicker. Beats, beats, beats. Beats, beats, beats. Woo! Keep it going, get these in. Beats, beats, beats. Woo, little quicker, 10. Eight, almost there. Six legs a little higher. Four, three, two, hold them, one. Oh, lower those bad boys down. That is not easy. <laughs> now we're gonna come to all fours again. So it should look, let me put my pants up, baby. It should look just like we started our class, right? All fours. We call this quadruped. 
Now lengthening from the crown of your head all the way to your tail without shifting my left arm goes forward. I lower it down and I alternate here. I'm looking for you to keep a completely straight spine. Your abs are working. You're not moving anything but your arm inside of your shoulder socket. Last one. Now both hands go down. We do the same thing with our legs without moving your spine or hips. Leg out, leg in. Repeat, leg out, leg in, leg out, leg in. Should feel kind of good. It's the same muscles we used in our bridging earlier. No wiggle wobbles. Hold this next one out. Bing. Extend the opposite arm. Are your fingertips and your toes in the same exact line? It doesn't matter how high your leg gets. Can you lift everything just an inch or two more from here? Lower it down. Whew. Other side, opposite arm is leg. Reach and hold. Lift the arm and the leg just an inch or two higher. Squeezing the seat. Lift it just an inch or two higher. Lower it down. Whew. And other side again. Arm and leg, fingertips and toes. Pull away, zip the belly, lift everything up. Lower it down. Ooh, baby, I feel it. Again, stretch and reach. Fingertips and toes, lift an inch or two higher. Down. Now let's pick up our tempo. Reach and lower. It's really also a full body exercise. I'm starting to feel my arms and my legs work too. Keep it going. And down. And reach. And lower. Four more. Four. Three. You can do it. Hold this one out. Now keep this side round your back. Make your elbow and knee touch together if they can. Now keep that connection. Can you pull your stomach in and up even more? Stretch back out. Go again. Round and scoop. Hold it. Pull everything in a little deeper. Stretch back out. Now let's flow. Get there every time. In. Reach, in, reach, keep it going, scoop. Your heart rate should get in, get it going. During these, eight more, you can do it. I know your arms are gonna burn. Four more. Last two. two, last one, stretch and hold, uh, and lower down, alrighty, here we go, find that nice long spine, extend the opposite arm and leg out, hold your balance for a moment, fingertips and toes in one line, now round your back, elbow to your knee, freeze, scoop your belly in and up, curl your pubic bone under, Extend back out, and go again. Curl under, round and lift. Pick up that tempo, scoop, stretch, in. See how I'm breathing. Ooh, this side's a little more challenging for me. Last two. Last one. Hold it. Oh, lower down. Open up your knees, send your hips back. You might need to stretch out your wrists and shoulders a little bit, because that was a lot of work on them. Now 
Now, last thing here, we come onto our belly. Again, working our prone muscles. I extend my legs hip distance apart. I take my hands under my shoulders. I push into my hands to peel my chest forward. Swan stretch. And I lower down. Try to zip your stomach off the mat one more time. Cool your belly in. Grow tall through your chest. And lower down. Now on this next one, take your hands with you. Ooh, I didn't get up nearly as high. Lower down. Again, push your toes down, zip your stomach. And lower. Again, abs are in, chest is up. And down, keep it moving. Push the toes, zip your belly into your spine. Doesn't matter how high you go. On this next one, hold it here. I'm gonna move my water cup. Now, can you keep your chest lifted? Can your arms go out? Can they come back in? Lift it inch higher. Go again, stretch. We're using our core and our posture muscles here. Reach for something, pull it back. Repeat, reach out, pull it back like your elbows are moving into your waistline. Three more. Two more. One more time. Pull it back and hold. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lift your chest up higher. Three, two, oh. Lower down, sit your hips back, child's pose. I felt that one, baby. Ooh, that's your swimming prep. Okie dokie, last thing. Forearms come down. So my elbows are right underneath my shoulders. I extend one leg out. You already know where we're going, into a forearm plank right here. My legs are long. My body is in a completely flat line. And we're just holding. We're zipping our bellies. We're trying to feel like the most symmetrical body we could possibly have. Hold it for 10. Squeeze those inner thighs that we already worked. Eight, five, try not to look down, look away, look forward, two, I'm shaking like a leaf, oh. lower down, come to seated, cross one arm over. That's it for today, short and sweet, but those are some of your fundamental core exercises. Mastering those, maybe you do this video once or twice through, it's totally doable. Please take care of your bodies, and I hope I will see you on the mat for the rest of our beginner series. Ciao, baby. Bye.